Okay, before we go any further, let's talk about floating zip lines. Zip lines may actually be a bit of a misnomer, given that, generally speaking, actual zip lines are recreational in nature and aren't usually backed up with control, belay, and tag lines. As such, a better term or description for these systems, at least as used by fire services and other emergency response units, would be descending high lines. The floating zip, however, may be an exception, given that by their very nature, the track line itself is dynamic, with the ability to vary the tension of the track while under load and transporting a patient and or rescuer from point A to point B. It's this design function that allows you to vary both your pickoff point and landing zone, such as might be needed in tower or tower crane rescue. You could be forgiven for thinking the control line doesn't have an accompanying belay line here. That's because instead of running main and belay, we are running a twin tensioned or mirrored system instead. As such, both lines are acting as main and belay, are under constant tension and sharing the load equally. If you are still hesitant regarding twin tension systems, it should be noted that as of 2021, they are now specifically identified in Chapter 5 of the 1006.